Hey folks, two weeks ago today, I was on the operating table and uh, having my robotic mitral valve repair being taken care of uh, by Dr. McGregor at Allegheny General Hospital down in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today, I am on a mile and a half walk through rural Western Pennsylvania at a pace that I would call walking from the car in the Walmart. I'm not trying, <laughs> excuse me, I'm not trying to break any pace records or anything else, but at least being able to talk to y'all kind of keeps my pace regular and uh, keeps me kind of in line. So this is an update, how I've been doing, how things have been going, that kind of stuff. So first, let's take a look at some of the pictures from, uh, from the hospital. And then there's an interview to you all or a, whatever, a vlog that I made uh, the Thursday evening before I got released on Friday. So I had mitral valve repair, robotic mitral valve repair on Tuesday, February 20th, Wednesday in the hospital, Thursday in the hospital, Friday about 10.30 in the morning, I was on my way home. So let's listen to that video first, and then we'll come back to the walk. Hey folks, it's um, Thursday. Uh, I had my robotic mitral valve repair done on Tuesday. Um, so Wednesday and then Thursday. So today is Thursday. Um, today's been a pretty big day. Uh, I, uh, I got my chest tubes out. I got my pacer wires out. And it looks like I'll be going home tomorrow. I um, was able to do some walking today. I'm a lot of walking. Um, and uh, yeah, so all of that stuff is moving forward really well. Uh, surgery was without incident. Um, I do have some swelling. It's um, so when they do the robotic surgery, um, they kind of inflate your uh, your chest cavity so they can see what push things around and see what they're doing. Um, and then you can also, in that process, you can have some bruising of the lung, which then can cause some leaking of air into uh, underneath the skin. So I've got some bruising uh, and swelling from that air leak. Uh, so I mean, that'll go down eventually, just just what time. Um, then you can see here uh, the thing from the pick line or whatever the line is. They have a, a line there that they can deliver medication straight to your bloodstream from there. Um, but overall, uh, I feel like we're doing really well. Um, the surgical team was fantastic. The nurses have been fantastic. Um, they have all... One of the things that I put out on the um, video on how to prepare for your surgery was uh, to pack a basket of goodies for the nursing staff. And uh, they've been really appreciative of that. So I had one basket packed for the, um, the ICU staff and then one, I'm in the step down unit tonight. Uh, I was in the step down unit last night. Uh, so uh, I had a basket packed for the folks here in the step down unit as well. And they've been really appreciative of the, um, of the basket and the snacks and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to give a quick update. Things are looking good. Um, and, uh, like I said, I should be out of here tomorrow. Uh, something that's money. This was money. This is one of those face mask things. And, uh, it was really nice to have, uh, to be able to get some sleep, uh, for 
couple of nights. Um, and uh, so that was nice. And also the uh, the six foot charging cords, those things are money as well. I mean, they are really uh, handy to have to be able to charge your electronics that you use. Um, they really kind of burnt through the power on my phone and my uh, iPad and my earbuds uh, today and was grateful that I had longer cords to be able to charge them back up. Um, so at any rate, because today was basically uh, taking meds, meeting with specialists, and walking, and then pretty good nap around too. Um, but other than that, so yeah, so just wanted to check in and I'll give you more details. Um, and certainly a plus and minus over the different things that uh, we talked about is uh, for preparation for this. And I can't stress enough that if you're able to get out and walk and walk and walk before your surgery, um, you're going to be able to recover faster uh, just by having those walking legs under you. Uh, practice standing up from a seated position just with your own legs just push yourself straight up without touching anything without pushing off with your hands practice those strength moves uh, and walking and um, you know that my leg strength is a huge benefit in uh, me helping convince people that I'm ready to go home so uh, we'll be headed home tomorrow all, you know, all things considered, and uh, we'll finish this series then. All right. Well, it's been a progressively better process of healing. I'm going to show you some pictures of the wounds uh, so you get a better idea of what they looked like to start with, and then finish off with a, a picture of where they are today. Some things that I'm noticing about recovery. Um, I didn't expect the inside of my leg to hurt as much as it does. Uh, where they put those lines in to run the heart-lung machine, that stuff hurts. <laughs> I mean, all the rest of the stuff hurts too. But I just never thought about that part being, you know, one of those areas that was going to hurt a lot. And uh, it's taken some time stretching uh, and that kind of stuff just to, to overcome. Now, we hit the, the three quarters of a mile from the house turnaround point. So now it's time to take our Walmart slaunter and... <laughs> Turn it around and head back toward the house. So at any rate, yeah, the leg was kind of a surprise. Um, and what's funny is that, uh, let me see if I can move this over here so the sun's not shining on the lens so much. Um, sometimes when I cough, I pull my leg up with my arm. Uh, just so I'm not stretching all that stuff out when I cough, because it does hurt all the way down into my legs sometimes when I cough. Um, love my heart pillow. Uh, just being able to hug something, it doesn't change the pain, but it gives you something to hold on to. It's a whole lot better than a bullet, um, and a whole lot better for you health-wise than a shot of whiskey. Uh, but holding on to that heart pillow for the first few weeks or so, or the first few days. Anyway, that was money. Uh, love my heart pillow. The, uh, the other thing I'm noticing is that, like, the pain, because robotic is all done on one side. It's so, like my left side is perfectly normal. Um, but my right side is where all the cuts were made and the entrance holes were made with different robotic tools. And so I'm relearning, reteaching 
constantly pushing those intercostal muscles to expand to where to back to normal. Um, so before uh, before surgery, it was a bad day, you know, a bad shot at the incentive spirometer when I hit 2,000. 2,500 is pretty normal. 3,000, yep. And uh, sometimes when I stood up, I could get 4,000 easy. So now, as of today, 1,500 is becoming pretty normal on that incentive spirometer. Um, but then I can get to 2,000 sometimes, but not as often as I would like to be. So that's a work in progress. Um, but what I'm finding is that it's just a, a point where my ribs just don't want to expand anymore. I hit this threshold of pain. I was just like, nope, not going. And that's also what I'm finding as the restriction on any of these walks is that I can't really push to the pace that I used to walk because my lungs won't expand to provide the uh, oxygen needed to fuel the machine, to fuel the burn, if you will. So I have to slow my pace down. Um, and so today is the longest walk I've done so far. It'll be a mile and a half when I get back to the house. Uh, I've done some, you know, more up-tempo walks at a mile. I think yesterday I knocked out a mile, you know, in less than 18 minutes. Um, but before, before surgery, I would knock out two miles in under 15 minutes each, each, each mile, right? So my mile pace was under 15, it was 14 something. So there's still plenty of room to grow there, but a lot of that is just oxygen exchange. And the limiting factor is not being able to fill my lungs as much. And that's something that will just have to happen with time. I went into this in good shape. I know that the power and the endurance is there in my legs. It's just a matter of getting my lungs back into shape to be able to get back to that level. So other than that, I think the recovery has been good. And uh, like I said, the only surprise was the leg. And uh, I interview with my, uh, my, my surgeon, with a PA from my surgeon's office tomorrow, and we'll find out more about what the future has in store, and also what cardiac rehab has for us. Because uh, I hope to start that basically as soon as, uh, as soon as I can get in after tomorrow's meeting with the PA. So there's the update, and uh, God bless, and I hope this was helpful.